God is good. And all the time. All the good. good morning, St. Therese family. Good morning, Mr. Lord. Happy Thursday to all of you. Happy Thursday to you too. Well, thank you so much. It's good to be with you all as we wrap up the 24th week of school today, our last day of the second trimester for instruction, and uh, continue to march forward in this first week of March that we honor Women's History Month. And so it's good to be with you from the second grade classroom today. We have, uh, let's see, two, four, six uh, students currently in the room, and uh, it'll just be good to have their voices and presence, knowing um, that they get to watch themselves a little later. Uh, but today is a, it's going to be a great day of, of learning and growing and, and praying together. And I also want to show off this new mask. I want to thank Mr. Dickerson, the father of Doris in the fifth grade, who made these printed masks for our community, so that's pretty exciting. Um, but before we jump into prayer and, and pledge and song today, does anybody know who the saint for today is? That's right, I had to look it up a second time too. Today is the feast of St. Casimir. And St. Casimir was born into a royal family. Uh, his father was the king of, uh, I believe it was Poland at the time. And he just didn't love that whole royal lifestyle. He didn't love all the fancy, luxurious things of being in a royal family. And so he chose to live a simple life. He chose to walk humbly with God, we might say. And there came a time where he was asked to kind of go be the king of another nation, which is modern-day Hungary. And he declined. Uh, on the way, he declined that because the military wanted to take over. And he didn't like fighting. He didn't like war. He simply wanted to serve God. And so he went back home and eventually... Um, just kind of continue to live that simple lifestyle. So he showed us that even when you're born into a family of great power and great wealth, you don't have to stay that way. And our gospel reading for today is the story of Lazarus and the rich man who have very different lives on earth and very different outcomes in heaven and hell. So we remind ourselves today to live simply, to think of others, and when there's temptations to be powerful and to rule over others, Let's make sure we are servant leaders along the way. Amen? Amen? All right, well, let's go ahead and begin our day together in prayer. Mulini Lea Patiri, Lea Moana, Lea Moya, Mutukirihu, Amen. Good morning, dear Jesus. This day is for you. We ask you to bless all we think, say, and do. We love you, God. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, and deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I am only one, but I am one. I cannot do everything, but I can do something. What I can do, I ought to do. And what I ought to do, I will do, by the grace of God. Amen. And we offer an extra Hail Mary for the continued healing of Ms. Tuatau and Mr. Lazo. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Ulinia Lea Patiri, Nalia Moana, Lea Moyo, Mutukiri Vu, Amina. So, Brother Ernie has a flag and. Brother Caduce has a flag for us this morning, so let's stand on the words peace. And Ernie, you can just stand at your desk. So Caduce, come stand over here. I guess maybe more in South America. And with our flags held high on the right hands of our hearts, we say together, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice. For all. Give our flag bearers a round of applause in the room. Get out there. You can set them on the desk. And uh, before we close it out today, 
I neglected to look up um, who we were honoring for Women's History Month, and if I touch my phone, then the recording will stop. And so I'm going to send teachers um, who we uh, lift up, whose words of wisdom we lift up, as well as the quote. So be sure to share that with your class after assembly today. Um, before we close, we know that uh, this is an important week. The second grade will be leading us in prayer service tomorrow, even though we'll record it this afternoon. And so let's make sure we finish strong this last academic day of the second trimester. And we close in song with DJ Langston on the mic. So sometimes you hear an extra note after we sing. Since tomorrow is the last day of the trimester, we'll listen to the rest of the song tomorrow, which moves into a song called Monin, about the, the past and, and how difficult things have been. So it's kind of a fun one, which will start our day with a little bit of a dance uh, after we lift our voices in song. With that said, have a wonderful Thursday. Remember to finish this trimester strong academically today. Be uh, responsible lifelong learners who think critically and creatively to solve problems. And remember, we can do all things. Have a blessed Thursday, All-Stars. We'll see you soon.